We've just experienced one of the most electrifying bouts in the history of boxing, and I'm referring to the showdown between Francis and Tyson Fury. This match left spectators in awe as we witnessed the Predator seemingly overpowering the Gypsy King. Despite this, to everyone's surprise, the judges awarded the victory to Fury. Um, I do think so, but I do. I also think he trained. I just think um, he wasn't as uh, determined and dedicated as me because uh, he thought his challenge was smaller, but I knew my challenge was bigger. And I, and I always think that would be like an advantage for me. It felt like broad daylight robbery. And now the entire world is clamoring for a rematch. Given the controversy surrounding the initial fight, a rematch is the only logical next step. Fortunately, Francis has unveiled the dates for the much-anticipated rematch with Tyson Fury, and these dates are sure to leave you stunned. The Tyson Fury vs. Francis matchup was initially expected to be a one-sided affair, with the Gypsy King dominating the MMA star. However, the tables turned dramatically as the Cameroonian fighter gave Fury a tough challenge. Many boxing pundits and enthusiasts argue that Francis rightfully won that bout, and it's hard to disagree. Recognizing the controversy, the MMA star is pushing for a rematch. Not only that, but Francis has a surprise for fans. He has announced the rematch dates, and they're sooner than anticipated. If the dates are confirmed, it strongly suggests that Tyson Fury has agreed to face Francis again. Considering how Francis dominated in their previous encounter, it's about that fans are eagerly anticipating. Tyson Fury, once hailed as the face of boxing and the undefeated machine, stood as the pinnacle of the sport. Remember, this is the man who knocked out Deontay Wilder, effortlessly schooled Derek Chisora, and made it all look like a stroll in the park. Now, enter an MMA fighter with no prior boxing experience, and everything changes. Francis the Predator defied our expectations by defeating Fury, challenging the perception of Fury's invincibility. To salvage his legacy, Fury must face Francis again. Surprisingly, the rematch is on the horizon, and you don't have to take my word for it. Francis himself has confirmed it. In a recent interview, the Cameroonian fighter was questioned about a potential rematch with Fury. He confidently asserted, After what I did to Fury, I'm the one who decides where and when the rematch will happen. Fury is going to pay for robbing me, and I'll exact my revenge in early February 2024. Yes, you heard it correctly. Francis is eyeing to dethrone Fury in February, just a few months from now. If you thought you had to wait another year for this anticipated clash, you were mistaken. It's arriving at our doorstep in early February. However, don't expect Tyson to let Francis's bold claims go unanswered. Well, hold on tight because the Gypsy King wasted no time firing back. Fury swiftly responded, stating, I think I hit him so hard that he's lost his mind. I beat him. I am the main draw. If he wants a rematch in February, let's do it so I can shut him up. Tyson Fury didn't mince words in his comeback. What matters most is that it appears Fury has agreed to face Francis in February. The decision to run it back immediately makes sense for Fury, given the embarrassment and widespread headlines proclaiming an MMA fighter schooling a seasoned boxer. Tyson, unaccustomed to such criticism, may have secured the judge's favor in the previous bout, but Francis won the hearts of many. That's why he's hailed as the real champ. Now Tyson Fury has to find a way out of this predicament by dominating Francis in the rematch. However, it's worth noting that Tyson wasn't the one determining the rematch dates. Francis's eagerness for an immediate rematch might raise some eyebrows, especially when he's currently riding high as the reigning king. While one might expect him to bask in the love and attention, there's a clear reason behind Francis's urgency. He's eyeing a return to MMA, and he's hinted that the rematch with Tyson could potentially mark his final foray into boxing. This decision aligns with Francis's deep passion for MMA. It runs in his veins, and it's where he truly excels. The octagon, not the ring, is his natural habitat. The bout with Fury was more of a lucrative opportunity, a chance to secure a substantial payday. Kudos to Francis for securing the bag and making the most of this money fight. Francis has always deserved the recognition he's currently receiving, especially considering the comparatively low pay scale in the UFC. The recent bout with Fury catapulted him to new heights of fame and prominence, making him bigger than ever. With an expanded fan base, Francis is keen on redirecting the spotlight to his MMA career rather than boxing. 
He explicitly stated, I want people to know me because of what I can do in MMA, not boxing. That's just a side endeavor. In his eagerness to move on from the Fury saga, Francis aims to wrap up the rematch quickly and return to MMA. He has even disclosed that he's already secured an opponent for his comeback fight in the Octagon, declaring, After I dismantle Fury in February, I'm heading home to do what I love most, MMA. I know who my opponent will be, and it's shaping up to be my biggest fight in the MMA arena. As much as we enjoy having Francis in the boxing spotlight, it's inevitable for him to return to MMA at some point. However, this doesn't signify the end of crossover boxing. In a surprising twist, Francis has lined up the one and only bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder, as his opponent for his comeback MMA match. Yes, you heard it correctly. Francis versus Wilder in MMA. This sets the stage for another monumental night in the crossover scene, and fans are already buzzing with excitement. However, there's one notable exception to the excitement, Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King, who is rightfully furious. Francis seems to be looking past Fury, as if defeating him will be a walk in the park. I can assure you of one thing, Fury may have underestimated Francis in their first encounter, but mark my words, in the rematch, he'll be training harder than ever. It's personal for Fury. His ego has taken a hit, but it doesn't weaken him. It only makes him stronger. If I were Francis, my focus would be on strategizing how to overcome Fury rather than plotting a return to MMA. Interestingly, Francis's coach, the legendary Mike Tyson, shares this perspective. The boxing icon emphasized the challenges ahead for Francis, acknowledging that the rematch is going to be the toughest fight of his career. Facing the most formidable version of Tyson Fury, Francis must not underestimate the task at hand. Mike's insight is spot on, and it's essential for Francis to heed this advice. After all, Iron Mike's wisdom carries considerable weight in the boxing world. Mike Tyson possesses an unparalleled understanding of boxing, so when he speaks decisively, it shouldn't be dismissed lightly. Rumors are circulating that the Gypsy King is back in the gym, diligently training at an intensity matching his peak while Francis continues to revel in his recent victory. Francis's insistence on a February rematch might turn out to be his own Achilles heel. Fury is gaining a head start in training. This time the tables could turn, with Francis potentially underestimating Fury. Rematches are inherently intricate, and this one has the makings of being the most spectacular we've ever witnessed. Fans are already buzzing across social media ever since Francis unveiled the rematch dates. Fans think that Fury is going to be furious, and he's going to end Francis this time. Francis got lucky, and though Fury's career might have hit a roadblock, his fans are still here, and that's what matters the most. Fury needs all the support he can get right now, and that support is only coming from the fans because all the boxing pundits are against him. If you don't believe me, see for yourself. Famous boxer Canelo Alvarez said, Fury lost the first fight, and Francis is going to dominate him in the second fight. That's the only way I see it happening. Even the boxers are siding with the MMA guy, and it's not just one crossover boxer. Jake Paul had an interesting take on the rematch. The problem child said Fury is a cheater, and Francis is going to end his career in the rematch. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your opinions in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.